Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Debbie Mason. I'm a neurologist at Christchurch Hospital in New Zealand. And my area of special interest is in epidemiology of MS. And I've done a number of uh, projects uh, involving a large number of people with MS in New Zealand. The first of these I did in association with uh, Professor Taylor um, from the University of Tasmania. And he and I did the world's first ever countrywide prevalence study across the whole of New Zealand in 2006. As part of that study, we managed to contact about 3,000 patients uh, living in the country at the time with MS, and we were able to get a large number of very valuable data from them about the demographics of where they were from and about the um, disability that they experienced as well as the socio-economic effects of living with MS. This uh, data has been incredibly helpful in terms of uh, informing us about the burden of disease in New Zealand, as well as helping us to create um, information about where, where people have MS and our latitudinal gradient in New Zealand. We then, uh, in the last, since 2012, have been doing an incident study in New Zealand where we're finding all of the people with MS who are newly diagnosed. And the things that have come out of both of those studies have shown that New Zealand still has a very large latitudinal gradient with the number of people in the South Island being much more prone to MS than those in the North Island. And one of the very interesting things that we've uh, shown is that since the 1980s when the studies were first done that the incidents in places like Hamilton and the North Island haven't changed terribly much but that they have doubled in the South Island and we're now very interested in looking at what the factors are that might be driving that. Thank you very much.